Ruby Quinones here with another episode of Pat TV, and I have my first guest, Michael Stern. It wasn't too hard to get him because he was—he uh, actually sits right next to me. <laughs> we wanted to talk a little bit about Foursquare uh, 101, you know, because I know that there's a people are on it and they're very much knowledgeable about it. But for those that aren't on it, what is it? Why be on it? And um, you know, see where our conversation goes. And the way this started, at least in this office, was Mike over here was actually the mayor. Let me explain that a little bit. If you're a mayor, that means that you've virtually checked in an application. Why don't I take a step back, actually, and explain what it is. It's an application that- Are you really sure? What was that? Are we really yeah, we're really shooting. There is no editing. I've, no, we are. are you serious? There is no editing. With the air conditioner I told you there's no editing. We have mics on. This, this, is, this is the real deal. Uh, what happens here, I've said it before, what happens here is what goes on air. If you want, we'll do another take. Yeah, okay. Um, so, <laughs> it came out as an application on your on iPhone, right? right? Right now, you're saying another take. No, I'm saying if you really want, we'll do another take, but All right, let's I'd rather it. not. No, 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 no take. No, no, go. We'll do another take after this. <laughs> is this the whole um, so, yes, no, this is square. still the first take. <laughs> so, this uh, is Guava. Four Square this is Guava, first okay. got launched um, on the iPhone by the one of the former makers of Dodgeball. Yes. And Dodgeball was a location based service back in, I think, 2003. Yeah. And yes. check this out what happened? Google actually buys them out a couple years later, I think 2005. Um, and then they decided to kill the project. And then Foursquare, same founder, co-founder, Dennis Crowley, actually started Foursquare two years ago. Um, and the idea was it's a location-based service. Wherever you go, you check in virtually on your uh, iPhone or on your Blackberry. Um, yeah, I guess you were supposed to talk about that, right? <laughs> go ahead. His, uh, his, uh, the basic idea behind it is that when he would get to or he says that when him or, or his friends would get to a, a bar or a restaurant that they're going to, instead of texting everyone saying, oh, I'm here, I'm here, where are you? You, you kind of just send out a little message to all of your friends saying, I'm here, wherever here is. So it almost sounds like Twitter, and I know a lot of people aren't even on Twitter because it's so chaotic. Um, but why be, why let your friends w know where you are? What, if, what are some other benefits, if there are any? Well, um, there, the benefits is that it becomes this kind of game atmosphere where they have these little rewards and what's so hard to explain about it is that there, <laughs> there's no real uh, incentives or benefits except for maybe some rivalry. Um, which happens a lot in this friends. office. Right. So as Ruben was getting into, um, I started checking in, I don't know, three, four years before Ruben did because he hadn't heard of Foursquare. It, it, it didn't even start three or four years ago, so <laughs> how would you even say that? The reality is that it was available on the iPhone first. I knew about it when he was checking in. Then in January they came out with it and I started checking in and he's just jealous because I became mayor. Um, although the real mayor is, if you notice this in the last couple episodes, is, is this guy back here, which we think is a total fraud. I'm not <laughs> sure how that happened. Um, but there is an incentive, actually, because, you know, you, you, you look at Starbucks, who signed a deal with, uh, uh, with a, a Foursquare. Um, they're actually giving a dollar off if you're a mayor. If you've checked in the most there and you become a mayor, you're, you actually get a dollar off on a Frappuccino. Yeah. Um, so the idea, I think, is you know down the road is 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 to provide incentives for people to check in, mm -hmm. and that's the long-term business model, possibly. Um, but you know, at least in our office, that's not the real incentive. Is not these sales. That's you know sort of more or in the business realm. But you really do it becomes a little competition between. Um, the same Stop thing. right there, because this is the end of part one. <laughs> part two, we'll talk about that. So thank you for tuning in. Have what? a good morning. Yes, good morning, good afternoon. I'm going to keep this short. 
people got to go back to work. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, I will see you next time for part two of Fort Carolina.